thank you for tuning in. Welcome. Today we are going to be making about five pounds of bone-in pork shoulder roast. And we're going to use some of this lovely fat here to sear our meat in our pressure cooker. So let's get started. All right, so here we want to cut it into chunks. And these chunks are so we get good sear on all sides. Brown really brings out the flavor of the meat. And we left the bone in here because it adds so much flavor. We're gonna salt and pepper this meat before we sear it. About a teaspoon of salt. And about a half teaspoon of pepper. Teaspoon to a half a teaspoon depending on your taste. Here we're adding white and black pepper to make it a little more kid friendly. And incorporate it into the meat. This is our lovely fat cap that's rendered down into some great grease that we're gonna fry our pork in. Adds lots of flavor. We brown it and sear it, sear in the juices. It adds a lot of great flavor to the outside, so don't be afraid to sear it pretty well. You can see we've seared it to a golden brown here. You can get it darker if you like. And we throw the onions in when we add the second half of the meat. Helps sear the onions and that definitely adds lots of flavor. And Sear your meat in small batches so that you don't kind of boil your meat because all those juices tend to come off the meat while you sear it. And if you throw it all in there at once, it can kind of boil your meat instead of sear it. Here we throw in about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of salt and the fresh sage. And that fresh sage is really good with pork. It's important to use some good quality pork is that's gonna enhance the flavor of your dish. You don't wanna ruin it with pork that doesn't taste good. Secure your lid on tightly and wait for this to come up to pressure for pork. And once it's at the correct pressure, we're gonna set our timer for 10 minutes for our pressure cooker. Follow the instructions for your particular pressure cooker. After using the quick release method here, we added our squash and zucchini. This allowed the flavors to blend together and made this kind of a nice one pot meal. And there is two and a half cups of yellow squash in here and that was two yellow squashes and then one zucchini and that turned out to be about a cup. So we're going to put our lid on here and let it come to pressure and then just when it comes to pressure we're going to bring it back down because we don't want to overcook our veggies. Secure your lid on tightly. We're gonna add some corn. Look at the beautiful colors in this dish and it smelled wonderful and let me tell you, it tasted better than it looks. It was so good. And now we're just gonna let the residual heat cook that corn, throw the lid on it for a few minutes, then it'll be ready to eat. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Speedy. All right, so we have finished our um, dish here and the vegetables are cooked perfectly. And our meat looks juicy. Are you um, zoomed in on this of how juicy and tender this is? Look, pork tender. Mm -mm -mm. That's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. Can't wait to try I'm it. Ready to eat. Did you already record or what? Yeah, that was recording, so push record. So this is how much we have can compare to my hand. Yeah, sure. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in our fryer here and turn the heat up to Okay. So we're just gonna throw some salt. I already salted. And for me. Okay, so it's time to try our recipe. And oh boy, boy, boy. Can I get a real pork? Hurry, hurry, hurry. We don't have much time. Thank you. 